Hi everybody, welcome to the Planet 46 Comics Podcast. I'm Matt Price, this is Kyle Roberts. Kyle, what's going on this week? Well, Steve Rogers is back, new Marvel voiceovers, and Doctor Who is coming to America. Alright, very cool. So, first things first, uh, it's a kind of an all-American edition here. Steve Rogers, mm-hmm. Marvel has announced, is going to be back as Captain America this July. Yeah, and, and you know, Steve Rogers is kind of back in the comics, but he's not Captain America. Mm-hmm. And so, this July, the, with the whole series and the movie gearing up, mm-hmm. he's going to be back as Captain America. New number one issue by Ed Brubaker, Steve McNiven, and uh, that's the artist of Civil War, mm-hmm. you might remember. Uh, Cap back in the suit. Awesome. And then uh, four more hero stars Mm -hmm. voice over Iron Man and Wolverine. That's right. These anime series that got announced a while back by Marvel uh, are finally getting pretty close to happening. They're going to air on G4. And Adrian Pazdar, who who is going to voice Iron Man, Uh sorry, he was Nathan (laughs) Petrelli on the show. And then Peter Petrelli, uh, who is my love into Miglia, is going to voice uh, Logan Wolverine. They're going to be uh, voicing these two G4 series, and those will be coming up here later this year. Cool. And then finally, Doctor Who going to be filmed in the U.S.? That's right. Matt Smith took over as Doctor Who last season, and they're going to film for the first time here in America with a new episode that's going to air on BBC America on April 23rd. And comic fans, take note. Uh, Neil Gaiman, who you might know from Sandman, one of the most award-winning series of all time, he wrote this episode as well. Cool. So check that out uh, Saturday, April 23rd, uh, 9 and 8 Central. Let's go ahead and dig into the review file. Fear itself, book number one. Yeah, that's sort of the big Marvel Comics event uh, that you've been waiting for. Yeah, Um, I mean, Wolverine, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Steve Rogers, Thor. Iron Man wants to rebuild Asgard, so that's one element of it. And uh, there's some conflict between Thor and Odin there. Mm -hmm. There's also Sin, the Red Skull's daughter from Captain America, uh, is trying to retrieve this uh, Norse uh, item that is believed to give great power. And I don't want to spoil too much about what goes on, but it sets up a lot of pieces for... Uh, some real cosmic battles and then also some interpersonal conflicts. Uh, Matt for Action, Stuart Amonin, pretty good startup for a Marvel event. Very cool. Yeah, very epic feeling. And some of it is in Oklahoma. That's right. There is a, <laughs> the like, a big of part Bro- of it. Yeah, the, the fake town of Broxton. A uh, big part of it set in Oklahoma. So that's another cool reason to pick it up. Yeah, very cool. All right. And then Axe Cop number two. We both oh, love, I love this, this series. Comic. It's, it's so, so good. It, it's written really well. It's and you know it's kind of written I guess mo- for the most part by a six year old, and it kind of feels like that. It's just very, uh, it's very funny. A lot of action. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy, wicked. There are dinosaurs and time travel and evil <laughs> machines. It just every few seconds something else comes up and you're like, that's awesome. That's hilarious. There are uh, nunchucks made out of semi trucks. I mean, just every few pages it, are just something else. You're like, that's crazy. It's very crazy. original. It's very yeah. original. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, I love that book. It's a lot of fun. Cool. So we definitely very highly recommend Axe Cop. That's right. All right, and then next from DC. Yeah, uh, it's part of Reign of Doomsday, Superman Batman Annual. This is by James Robinson, uh, who was writing the Superman books up until recently, and he's kind of writing this big... It's basically, this is kind of a blowout action piece. You've got uh, Cyborg Superman taking over the Watchtower, and he's battling uh, Doomsday, and Supergirl's involved, and Batman's involved. So, pretty big, heavy action piece, but also James Robinson is picking up on some of the things from New Krypton, which, you know, haven't really been touched on in the main Superman book, because uh, Straczynski's had him sort of walking across America. So some of those, some of you guys who are following those plot lines from New Krypton, some of those elements are followed on here. I liked, I liked the action of it. Cool. So. Very cool. And then you said you really enjoyed this comic. Yeah, I did. This is by Nate Simpson, uh, a new guy to me, uh, called Non-Player, and it's kind of a m- virtual reality multi-layered story uh, that has a lot going on. I think this is just sort of the tip of the iceberg as far as what we're going to get into in this story, but new one from Image Comics. Uh, art kind of reminiscent of Mobius to some degree, but really fantastic if you... Um, if you want a kind of a non-traditional think, type story, think Tron lines as far as uh, players mm-hmm. controlling, you know, controlling in this in this virtual universe. But you know, as far as storyline, everything else is not you know Tron like at yeah, all. But more just, of a just a, to give you a quick, yeah, yeah. But anyway, highly recommend picking this one out. I actually have heard this has already been selling out across the country, so you might want to pick it up sooner rather than later. So if you like video games and comics, 
Well, hey, you can't go winner. wrong. <laughs> I'm actually going to make that one my pick of the week. What? How about you? Are you kidding me? I am going with that one. I really enjoyed Fear Itself and mm-hmm. Marvel and the whole launch of that, but yeah. I'm going to have to go with Axe Cop, number two. You know, you can't go too <laughs> far wrong with anything this week. It's great to see Marvel getting another event going, and of mm-hmm. course, yeah, it'll probably do pretty well. Um, good to see a new thing uh, coming out for Image, and uh, you know, obviously, we like to see DC having big action pieces. But I can see why you'd like Act Up. It's, you <laughs> it's can't go too awesome. far wrong with it either. It really is. All right, very good. So hey, come back next week. We'll have more comic book and movie news. For Kyle Roberts, I'm Matt Price. Thanks for watching.